Original Xbox exclusive Voodoo Vents is back after 14 years, and this new remastered version is a welcome revival for the modern age. This might be a fairly by the numbers platformer, but its unique personality makes it tough to forget. This is a remaster in the truest sense of the word. You'll find no new levels, bosses, or challenges lurking among the tweaks, and its running time still clocks in at about 8 hours. Fortunately, it's so old it almost feels new. More realistic games might suffer after such a long absence, but Voodoo Vince's vaguely Pixar look allows it to enter the modern age with only a few wrinkles. It looks all the more modern with a new 1080p resolution, a 16x9 aspect ratio, and a generally steady 60fps refresh rate that holds its course on both the PC and Xbox One versions. These improved visuals are important, as there's no better reason to play Voodoo Vents than to revel in its style. It nails the Louisiana imagery and music, as Vince tries to save his kidnapped creator, jumping from warped visions of Jackson Square to the swamps outside the city. Even in its day, Voodoo Vents wasn't very innovative. Our hero spends most of his time bouncing from platform to platform, collecting items like vials of dust to give him more health, or pages that give him more powers. His basic combat skill set includes old standbys like double jumps, spins, head stomps, and the ability to slow down while falling. Strictly speaking, the combat isn't even that fun, as Vince hits about as hard as a pillow, and enemies are usually easy to ignore anyway. Even bosses, while fun to look at, barely pose a challenge until the end. But it's not without its own identity. Being a voodoo doll, Vince harms others when he harms himself, and environmental puzzles sometimes lead him to, say, slam an anvil on himself in order to smash a malevolent piggy bank. Vince also picks up around 30 voodoo powers in his journeys, and there's great fun in finding which one randomly goes off when you pull both triggers on a gamepad. That personality is enough to justify Voodoo Vince's return from obscurity. For more on Voodoo Vince, stick with IGN.